I'm Jeff Dodds. I'm a math content creator here at Khan Academy. I had a fixed mindset for a really long time. I was convinced that I was a math person and I was smart and I was just good at math. And so I remember the first time I really struggled was um, I was taking a linear algebra course and the homework was not required, it was optional. And the grade just came from quizzes every week and a midterm and a final. And I thought that if the lectures were making sense, then I must understand it. And so I was really frustrated with my initially low scores. I was, and my brain started like switching into this really fixed mindset where I would blame the teacher because they must not be preparing us well for the quizzes. Um, but then I started to suspect like, oh gosh, maybe I'm just not that smart and maybe I'm not good at math after all. And I was just wrong all along. But um, I took to like joining study groups for students in the class who were doing better than me. And I thought just by like being around them that I could somehow like soak up their smartness and like figure out the trick that they had discovered. Um, and I was kind of surprised that their, their key to success was just getting together and doing the optional practice problems and talking them out. And people were vulnerable and asking questions and saying, I don't understand this. Can someone help me out with this? And it was the first time where I, it kind of clicked for me that, oh, optional practice like, I, I don't have to do it just because it's for a grade. I can do it to learn and grow. And I have to give up the idea that I'm smart and I understand this on my own and work with other people to ask them questions when I was, uh, when I was getting stuck with something or to help someone when they needed it to help myself grow and the grades would take care of themselves from there. I had to give up that sense of, oh, I'm smart and I can get this all on my own. And it really changed the way I approached my coursework, like not just in math, but in everything past that where I kind of realized the importance of practice and asking questions and being vulnerable enough to say, I don't understand this and I need some help. It, being able to admit that to myself and to other people that I do not understand this and you understand a lot better than me, so I would like your help, please. That was really big for me. And that's still important um, when, when I was a teacher or in my job today where I think, you know, maybe there's a better way to teach this concept and I can reach out to other people and look at what they do. It's okay to not be the master because we're, we're all students, we're all still growing and everyone has room for improvement in some way. And that if everyone just kind of quietly works on their own, then that's, that's not gonna produce the best outcomes we can possibly get because there's, there's usually some area we need help with and there's someone out there who's happy to help you. So why not, why not go take advantage of that?